The Tennessee Titans are going to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers Thursday night football action tonight from the Steel City. The Steelers are favored in this one here at minus two and a half tonight. And uh, the current tur- co- tur- uh, tur- total, current tur- total, current total sits at 37. Maybe it's gone up just a tad here today. But the real question mark is who's going to play quarterback? for the Pittsburgh Steelers tonight. Looks like Kenny Pickett is ready to get in there and make the start tonight. This was one of the games I certainly said that maybe we could have two quarterbacks that might not be in there, but uh, does look like Pickett can uh, make this start. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, he's got a somewhat experienced, let's just call him an experienced backup in Mitchell Trubisky if there was any uh, problem. So we'll check his status and, you know, see how it goes tonight uh, for uh, 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 Pickett. Because, you know, that's Pittsburgh's man at this point. But um, he is probable with that rib situation. So Minka Fitzpatrick out is uh, certainly another injury of note. DeAndre Hopkins probable here. And, uh, of course, Tannehill misses the game, so Will Levis becomes our focus uh, a little bit as far as the quarterback position. He's been one of the most talked about uh, backups here out of all these guys, right? You don't know who's coming and who's going at this point. And there are jobs uh, to a certain extent that can be won with some of these situations. It's not like the old days where you would say, I can't lose your job because of an injury. Well, here, good luck with that. I mean, a guy comes in like Will Levis, and you could be Ryan Tannehill with a, you know, uh, experience and a reasonable amount of success under your belt, probably can still consider to be, uh, you know, at the maybe at your prime. Uh, look, Tannehill's not – uh, a Hall of Famer or anything, and we don't even know if he's a champion at this point. But, you know, he certainly has been, you know, when he made the move to Tennessee, they thought it would be, you know, a good situation. And, it ha- you know, it has. I mean, hey, it, quarterback is hard. Tannehill's had success uh, for, you know, all the downturns he's had, all the fun we've made of him as well. Um, I've probably made less fun of him uh, a little bit. I mean, quarterback is tough. Quarterback is tough. So, uh, Levis, four touchdowns in his first game as a, as a uh, starting quarterback, and that's only been done three times in the history of football. So, uh, right now, Levis, uh, the job is his to win. I mean, Tannehill's, you know, if it were maybe the one or two week thing, well, maybe Tannehill comes back. But if Will Levis can light it up, if he can do something here against the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road, a team that you know people wanted to cast aside a little bit and say, "Hey, uh, this isn't uh, the usual Steeler outfit that we're used to." But considering their you know mediocre results here of of late over the last. Uh, couple of years here. Uh, I don't know. Pittsburgh's in an okay situation, I would think, with their uh, four and three record right now and playing a home game that they're favored in. It feels like it's an okay situation for me for the Pittsburgh Steelers here in this uh, in this matchup. So, I don't know. With these quarterbacks, uh, look, I want to think that Will Levis uh, uh, – is going to be that guy. I mean, uh, if anything, when you saw him at Kentucky, the storyline was always the same thing. Here's a guy, Kentucky has an NFL prospect at quarterback. It's just he plays on Kentucky. They're not great. If anything, they did pretty well offensively when Levis was there uh, because he was able to produce, uh, you know, he was in the SEC, after all, going up against some pretty tough, uh, stiff competition. So, um, you know, there's a, a little bit to be said for 
what was going on with Levis in college and maybe why he wasn't, you know, a star star uh, in college. But again, everyone talked about how how good he was and that he was a true pro prospect. He can win this job eventually here. Londo doesn't even, he thinks he's, you know, Thursday night, uh, don't want to get involved. You know we're involved in this one. This is an important game in the season. I mean, Tennessee, uh, their season is a, well, <laughs> I was going to say in a, maybe a throwback to Coach Knight, a, a season on the brink for Tennessee here in this one. They do need this win. They could survive if it doesn't work out that way, but uh, I'll take the under in this one with the Titans and the Steelers. Um, you know, I do have a rookie quarterback on the road going up against the Steelers. A defense, are they traditionally as strong as yours? Well, I don't know. Not awful, right? So, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, still having a little bit. Thought I'd be better today on my uh, notes over here. But, uh, well, it's not quite working out. Anyways, I hope I got you some good information on the. We could talk about it a little bit more if you want. It doesn't look like uh, Brenton has, doesn't have much hope at all here. And Rodney says, just run the ball. You have a guy you can run the ball with here. And uh, Tennessee, they've lost all three road games so far. They're one and two against the spread. Remember, they did lose a game by just one point. Uh, I'm not necessarily fading Levis long term. Maybe I just am here tonight. Um, I don't know. This would be a thing where, hey, maybe this is a spot that I want to people are kind of casting him aside uh, here a little bit, but you know, four touchdowns in that game, Tennessee 12 and seven against a spread off of a win, but 0 and two in that role this season, 10, five and one last 16 is a road underdog, but uh, Pittsburgh great at close games, particularly at home. They're 29, 16 and one, against the spread their last 46 games when the spread is three points or less. So the this is their role, close games. Pittsburgh's gone under in six of their seven games so far this season. Tennessee's gone under in five of their seven games. That's a combined uh, uh, even I can uh, even I can figure that one uh, out. Uh, this season, these guys have gone over in just three of their games combined. So Joey wants the Steelers here. Bobby has his score as well. Hmm. All right. Thanks a lot. You guys enjoy the game tonight. I'll take the under in this one. All right. Oh, man. Love talking these games, and I have more notes here. I make too many notes and, and just always leave them on the cutting room floor. <laughs>